It's midterms! Yay! Yay for tests! Your first term midterms, uh, term term, begin to, t um, term day and continue until till terms day. You should hurry to school term. Term. I don't know. So there's terms I was saying teams this whole time. Hey, that's a reference to the video some people might have seen. Morning! Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. Have you studied for them? Or learn... Saying learn to pick your battles sounds like a bit of a... Although, to be fair, we should probably be focusing more on the case than, you know, fucking midterms. Uh, have you studied for them? I've got to be supportive. Can't you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? She's crying! Once over, we're not done with the case. Yeah, we kind of have to... Yeah. Stop people from dying. Probably a little bit more important. Talk, talk, talk. Kid running late, apparently. So I've been told that these days are really short. I think I've mentioned it to people. I might condense all the midterms into a single video. So hey, welcome to your next, like, what is it? Four days of videos, all in a single video! And that video still might only go for four minutes. It's apparently like 30 seconds, but um, it's apparently genuinely 30 seconds, is what people have warned me. And people said this will fuck it up, but guess what? Fucking up is my middle name. Midterms, day one. I should probably get my middle name changed while I get my last name changed too, if my middle name's fucking up. What is it called when muscles grow after exercise? Oh, I oh, was. Oh, are all these questions for the midterms just gonna be questions we've already had before? Oh, then let's see if my memory um, is average. Overcompensation. I remember that one because I thought it was overgrowth and I was totally wrong. So, you know, if there's going to be questions that we've done before, this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, now this one I actually knew. It's BC. Well, there's two BCs. You nearly threw me off there. No, I'm BC. Yeah. So, like, is that the terms? Is it, wait. Oh, okay, well. Wow, you guys weren't fucking kidding. Okay. So, oh, we're straight back into the classroom as well. You're not wearing your, you're not wearing your head, headdress. Yeah, these are just whole questions I've asked before. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Oh. Which of these number? Oh, fuck. I remember this question fucked me before. Marriage was either the answer or the thing I thought was the. What are the answers? The marriage. I can't. Re I either picked marriage and it wasn't that, or I picked something else and the answer was actually marriage. Because I remember I ruled it down to two, and I think I ruled it down to amicable and sociable. And I wasn't sure of marriage or betroth betrothed. I'm trying to think of my own logic and what I would have chosen in that time. Um. Ah, uh, shit. I think I would have gone betrothed. Because marriage sounds like it could be along with social and amicable. I, well, I think I would have picked betrothed because I haven't heard of betrothed before. And then it fucked me and it was marriage instead. I feel like that's what I would have done. Let's just fucking go for it and hope for the goddamn best, shall we? Who translated I love you as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you, question. Oh, oh God. Okay, the question we were actually given during the thing was how did, insert the Japanese name, translate the phrase I love you? And I picked the moon is beautiful and I was right. They mentioned someone else translated it as something else. Something about the concept of love being invented in Japan. But I don't fucking remember the names even the slightest. I want to say that... I'm just trying to recall what I can remember about that. I want to say that Fu somebody was the person who translated it as something else else? I'm just trying to recall back to that and like the closest thing I can think of is like Fu was obviously mentioned because there's two here so Fu would have to be one of them but I feel like whoever was Fu someone like either Fu Tabate or Fu Kazawa I, I want to say that was the person who was mentioned second 
so Natsumi was the first one who mentioned that. And then after I got the question right, the teacher mentioned how Futabate or Fukuzawa translated as something else. That's what I'm basing this off. The only thing I can remember is I think the Fu sounding name was sec was the second name that I heard. But I, I I don't know. Hopefully, like I know it's flimsy logic to base it on, but it's the only one I've got. If it was the actual question, I would have gotten it right. No, they had to fuck me. Okay. Who said, as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom? Um. Oh, I should probably bring it. Right, it's multiple choice. I don't have to just go with the answer in my head, do I? Uh, as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. I specifically remember this being mentioned before. I don't remember the answer shocks me, I think. Honestly, I fix niche, sir? Because, like, that sounds like something that an evil person would say, right? But no, I'm, I'm even thinking of Nietzsche as the wrong person now, aren't I? Damn it. Yeah, Nietzsche wasn't one of the German things. Shut up! Gamepad. Gamepad? Anyone who owns a Wii... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to bitch about the Wii U for a second. People who own a Wii U, you might be aware you, your gamepad sometimes a little home button will light up. Until you know you've got a notification, so next time you turn on the Wii U, it lets you know the notification. The fucking... It does that so it like lights up and lets you know you got a notification. That's all well and good. But sometimes the screen of the gamepad will just light up and tell you that notification anyway. Before you've even turned it on. Like right now, my Wii U has the red power light off, but the goddamn screen is trying to make is having a button there that says to go to the eShop. Go away! Shut up! I don't care. Gamepad? Oh sorry, sorry, uh laws um no longer meaning men are fit for freedom. Um, sorry, I just had a little mini rant about the goddamn gamepad and the fucking notifications. Um, who was this? Who was this? Who was this? Guys, help. Guys, help. Uh, uh um, I think it was Pythagoras. I remember saying something about, I think it went along the lines of like, Pythagoras wrote some things down and stuff like that. Then I made a joke about how he didn't write down the proof to his own goddamn theorem. Then I mentioned the um, burning of the Alexandria Library. Alexandria Library? I might be getting that part wrong. But I mentioned that, and I think that... Because I, I remember mentioning that building burning down. And I remember right, mentioning that he didn't write down the theorem. And I think the only reason I would have done that is if Pythagoras was the answer. I'm going with the flimsiest... Uh, okay, not the flimsiest of logic, but I'm going... I'm going with the Monty Python-esque application of logic and entomology, is what I'm doing. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the, the Olympus Pond? Oh, this is the fucking Olympus Pond! Where is- there it is. The Olympus Pond. This is the question that they- Because the actual question that they gave me was the deepest valley. I specifically mentioned how Olympus Pond was the tallest one. So you get fucking wrecked, question. I actually knew one of these ass- Well, I knew this one and the BC one. Okay. Last day. God, this is four days in a row of tests. When I finished my school um, tests, I had, I think I did the first two days in a row, and then each one, each other one was separated by nearly a full week. In some cases it'd only be a couple days, but some of them was a full week. It's kind of awesome. You are familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. Oh, did I? Oh, I don't have. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that was just the summer. Okay, if I feel confident in my answers, I assume that means I did well. You feel confident about it, so it probably means you did alright. Like, above average, like, like 60. No, no. Confidence is like at 70%. It's finally over. Alright, you do boys. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. What about students who like tests? Hey, quiet down! Hmm? So, what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? I... I didn't answer that question. Oh fuck, was there questions on the back of the page? God damn it! Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Oh crap, then I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. How? I want 
to rate this story, how can that be interpreted as two, that two Ice different things? Cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? I'm going to assume you probably got it right, Yukiko. Sounds all like right. the type of thing that... I've given up on composition. I'm going to bet it all on geography. Well, it's a bit too late to do that once you've finished the tests. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Oh, Olympus Mons. Oh, I actually have to answer uh, Olympus Mons. You can give it... <laughs> Seriously? I chose the wrong one! Is GA supposed to be done at school, or... Like, does Ooh, that... Oh, I put that one, too. So, yeah, it was right. Well, you two... And it's probably the right answer. Well, I mean, I voted for a fucking fact that it's the right answer. Because it's the Olympus Mons. In space. Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. I thought that idea was weird when I first heard that. I think my school did that, like, once or twice. And then they didn't do it again, because obviously. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. A again? About the mur is it about the reporter being dead? Or was that local reports They're that were watching? They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. You say that no nonchalantly. About the fact that there was two people hanging from antennas! No, it's well, not telephone that. poles, you know, the telephone wires. Nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. Dude, is it the crazy diamonds? A friend of mine Please let it be the crazy diamonds. I heard it from him. Please let it be the crazy diamonds. That'd be Dude, so sick. What are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Dude, is it the crazy di Please- oh, Come on, Mondo well, being anyways, in this game. What do you think about tomorrow's group <clears throat> blind date? We were gonna meet outside, A group but... blind date? So do you guys decide who you're with once you get there, or have you been partnered off before you get there, and then once you get there, everyone has, like, one swap token that they can use in case they want to swap? Like, how does this work? Or do you yeah, all go on the date, and at the right? end, then you decide? Wouldn't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? You should always play play it safe. I mean, the CDs are... Oh! I'll oh, safe at the rain. Oh, ignore me, then. I'm just being an idiot. Gang? From Mars? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. Oh, but bucket gangs. We live right by the road. And do all those the charity drugs? can drive you it's insane. Awesome. Then there are the shitty ones that deal drugs. I hear some guys at this school are part of it too. Would people in this school be old enough to have their license? Actually, I think Yosuke was specifically talking about getting my cycle yeah. license at some point. I know there are some rumors about a first year student here who's a total hellraiser. A first year? Who's a total hellraiser? It's like a first year, just like One slapping of the guys him or whatever. At Juness said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. This is really sounding like Mondo is in this game. Although, was he in a biker gang? It really sounds like Mondo's in this game. Did, did you say he was a legend? You can go calm down. I know you want your prints and everything, but calm down. Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. <laughs> so that happened. Today was the final day of midterms. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy- Oh! Oh, I actually have free time now. I guess that makes sense, I didn't actually answer any questions today. So, that girl still wants the statue. Alright, well I'm just gonna walk out there. Okay, so... Oh! Sports. Sports people do... <gasps> Drama's here too! Drama can do stuff. Yosuke can do stuff. Uh, she probably could. Can I hang out with Yukiko yet? I remember it was like, you need something to have for you to hang out. Oh, she's not even here. Oh. Didn't she normally hang out just here? Alright, well never mind, I guess. And she is on the roof. Um... Okay, the sports people, is my bonds gonna grow closer with any of these people yet? I don't remember. Valkyrie might get along. It's going to become closer soon. Okay, is there anyone else who I might get close with soon? Have we hung out with you even once? Went to all this thing. Oh, it's gonna become closer as well. But I don't have chat. Well, bleh. I'm weighing up my options on friends, which is actually another thing. Kind of a shitty thing, but <laughs> just a shitty way to act. Yo, Skay, yo, yo, Skay. I'm trying. He wants to go somewhere. It could become closer. It isn't yet ready to advance. Well, in that case, I will wait until I see you at night time, because I feel like that's more efficient. And where's and where's Shay? Is she up at the roof? You got them a riddle for me? <coughs> but... Oh... 
Well, actually, Gia might be hanging out with Yuki at the moment. No, she's here. Scare the birds. Okay. Are you? Yo, Yo Johnny Kun. Uh, it's going to become closer soon. Ooh. You busy? Sorry about. Ah. Oh. Sorry. Who should I go? Yo. Hello. Yeah. She's here. Uh, what was I supposed to ask? Why is she on the roof? You can see that open sky feels good. It doesn't seem like you can ask her anymore today. You should come back some... Wow. Okay, fair enough. So, try and look for her each day as well. Okay. So, I've got the sports people. I've got the GA people. I'll go with one of the... I'll go... I'm, I'm calling Yumi a sports person, despite the fact that it's drama. But I'll do one of... Uh, I'll go with one of them, because they're on specific days. Whereas Chia could be there pretty much any day. So we can either go with drama or sport. Let's go drama. I know I don't have a son, Arcana, but I don't think this one's leveled up once yet, where I think sports is up to two, possibly even three. Yo, practice today. Let us go to drama club practice. Let's do our best. She looks happy. All right, drama. Oh, 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 oh. You participated in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has increased. Awesome. So just hanging out with the drama people also increases your expression as long as, as well as an arcana increase. I'm okay with this. Doing fundamentals all the time gets boring. Let's try doing some real performing. Let's go for it then. We'll hold an audition. Everyone, remember the line I'm about to say. Okay. After the audition. Oh. This, probably not this line. I'm assuming it's not this line. Okay, paying attention. What crazes me is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. Got it. Craze me, light, moon, gold, sea, trickle, tears. It's on. It does it. You all got that? Well, I'm not gonna repeat it. Alright, we'll start with Johnny. Come up here in front of everyone. Show some emotion. Just go for it! I have this feeling I'm gonna like Yumi. The line began. What crazes me is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, nor the golden sea. I. But the trickle of your tick. Come on, Johnny. Me done. You wanna try? I already know that you're going to be my main character. Oh, come on, you two. You two? No. Oh, yeah, go, Yumi. What crazes me? She appears to be going to be a completely different person as she recites. There's not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea. But merely the trickle of your tears. She's getting into it. Animation model and her little anime picture. Changing each time. Her own eyes are full of tears. She has become the character. That was amazing. She's always so good, it's scary. If anyone thinks they can do better than a better job than me, please come up. <laughs> Don't say it like that. If only sitting around flirting made you a better actor. Oh Burn! We all remember the line, so we might as well do it, right? Watching others act is a good experience. You're right. Go ahead. Everyone recited the line, but Yumi was the best, hands down. We've unanimously decided that Yumi will be the protagonist. And opposite me, because I was the second best. Awesome. Your girlfriend is kind of a shit to your actor. It's either you or me, and what I'd really rather do is direct. Do you mean direct to her? Yumi's husband in a short skit. Oh, okay. Okay, I wonder if Yumi will, will be happy with this. Probably. Do you have your lines memorized? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Don't be so tense. It's just practice. You want to take it seriously? So give it a shot. Okay. Oh, give it my... I'm not... I've got to give it my all. It's fucking acting. Okay. It's talking and shit. It's what do I do. I'll let you throw it. She seems excited. So many musical happies coming out of her head. Acting is fun, isn't it? When you're acting, it's like you get to take on the life of another person. 
Not just yourself, not some Yumi Azawa, but another life to live. I don't need lights, I don't need costumes. All I need is a role to play. All I need is to not be... Oh. Oh, that's why she gets so interactive. Oh, this social link is going to get depressing. And then hopefully happy towards the end of it. If, you, if I keep talking, you'll end up forgetting your own lines. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl, darling. With Yumi's encouragement, you decided to accept the role of her husband. You feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened a little. You are husband and wife now, so I would fucking hope so. And I just acting showed up. Yo, rank two. And it's with the individual person, not just some fellows. Your power to create personas of the sun arcana has grown, but your ability to not get fucked over by it in the uh, shuffle time has not. Want to ad lib a kiss? Oh, well, that doesn't have. Oh, okay. Yumi clearly does. Y Yumi clearly just has a thing for Johnny. You are able to complete the skit to the applause of the entire drama hey. club. Oh, did we do that ad lib kiss in front of everyone? I, didn't, I thought we were the only two there. Oh, it looked like we were the only two there. Oh, then never mind. Welcome back. Ah. Uh, fridges full of food. Can I have a word with you? You go to Juness a lot. Very often or not? Uh, yeah, very often. Because we don't even always go there for TV. That ass Adachi keeps vanishing every now and again. I think he's probably slacking off around Juness whenever he does. If you see him hanging around when you're at Juness, he's probably goofing around. So if you see Adachi at Juness, tell him off for me, okay? Are you telling your older sister's son to tell your like, work colleague off? This seems like a real frivolous waste of being- yeah. Hey, How's it going? That wasn't the right line. Struggling to find the right words. Oh, oh yeah. We can't communicate just yet. Expression! That's what I was learning in drama class! Can I hang out with you? Well. No. Her quiz shows. I'll leave her alone. I can make some food though, can't I? You open the fridge. Oh, no. No, don't, don't do that just yet. Oh, save, save, save the game. What, are you, what the fuck are you doing? Save, save the video. Thank you. Um, so, oh, I've got a couple things I can do. Because I've got my, what you call it? The end of my Gurren Lagann fanfiction upstairs. Those envelopes I'm supposed to be making. Or I can do some of this. Because I can't hang out with anybody because I'm an asshole designed to be home for fucking once in his life. Uh... I'll do food, because the food- the fridge is full today, those envelopes and that other shit will be there continuously. It will still be- like, my book will still be upstairs. The envelopes will still be upstairs. This food probably won't be here tomorrow. Alright, let's spend the- spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch, because Johnny's just really slow at everything he does in life. Like, just absurdly slow. Surprisingly! You have the ingredients to make meat stew. You decided to make meat stew. Choppity choppity. Dot dot dot. You only have to simmer it. How should you simmer it? Uh You yeah. <laughs> strong heat! Uh, without a lid. Whenever we make sure here we don't have a lid. Oh, or do we? How good is my mum at cooking though? I think it's different depending on the stew that she makes. She cooks it with or without a lid. I don't remember. I don't think my mum uses a lid, so I'm gonna say without a lid. I don't know how to fucking make stew. Ingredients have been cooked. You obtained a serving of short simmered meat stew. 